All right, it is a story drawing national attention. We know tonight that sheriff's deputies from Oklahoma are searching somewhere in Kansas once again today for more evidence in connection to possible missing persons case. They call BTK Dennis Rader the prime suspect. New evidence led Osage County, Oklahoma deputies to Rader's former property two days ago. That's where we find Joe Baker. Joe, you spoke to some law enforcement experts about the latest developments. What are they saying tonight? Mike, Rachel, there are now questions about this new evidence being found. Why wasn't it recovered nearly two decades ago, and why is it just now being discovered? 18 years after his arrest, Dennis Rader, widely known as BTK, now the lead suspect in a decades-old cold case out of Osage County, Oklahoma. Many questions as to why the latest evidence wasn't searched for and found years ago. Former Miami detective Joe Shalacy speculating as to why it's now being found. Again, it, it, it's twofold. One part of me says maybe he's talking, but the, these agencies have gone back and reopened up these cases. Shalacy says in his experiences, he doubts Rader was honest and telling the whole truth. When you've talked to uh, as many killers as I have or listen to detectives in well over 300 cases, you just, you know that they're not going to tell you everything. You, they're not. You know, it's just they're going to hold back. In the Cynthia Kinney case, a conviction of her murder could lead to the death penalty in the state of Oklahoma. Man, if I confess to that murder, I could be executed versus let me just not confess to it, whether he did it or didn't. So, you know, he would be uh, he would be not executed. Former Wichita Lamonian Police Chief Lamonian. Richard Lemonian served WPD for nearly 30 years. During the time, Rader killed 10 people in the Wichita community. Dennis Rader, when you look at him as an individual, he is an evil, deranged person that just feeds on the innocent. He's a parasite, and he feeds on the innocent. And that's what he did here in our community, and that's what he does elsewhere. Shalacy says he absolutely believes Rader was involved in other open cold cases. Again, the Osage County Sheriff back in Kansas today searching for evidence tying Rader to the 47-year-old cold case of Cynthia Kinney. Mike Rachel, back to you.